welcome to or back to my channel. I hope that you guys are as excited about this video as I am. As you can see by the title and the thumbnail, I got a new puppy and he's literally the best thing that has ever happened to me. So I'm really excited for you guys to get to meet him. I promise I'm gonna show him to you, but it's too hard to like try and film and like hold him and show him because he's all over the place. He's crazy. So firstly, I just wanted to give like a little bit of background information. Um, I lost my dog about six weeks ago and she was like literally my whole heart my whole life i rescued her when i lived in florida back in 2017. long story short she got sick and was in the hospital and a lot of random people donated um to try and like cover her hospital bills and she was getting better and then she got home and we had like a bit of an accident and she got out the front door and she actually got hit on the street that we live on so it was pretty catastrophic and if you guys know me you know i've had like the worst year ever and especially like the last couple of months so it was kind of just like the cherry on top and like the icing on the cake and it was literally the worst thing I've ever been through, but I have like really been doing good with it and like mourning the loss. I was supposed to be getting a new dog in February, which we might still be doing. So stay tuned for that because we're crazy. I don't know, that's all there is to it, I guess. But anywho, I'm really excited just to be able to like show you him and let you guys meet him because he's so fun and he's really just like changed my life and like made us full of so much joy. So I'm just gonna like do a little bit of a background on him to let you guys know like he literally is perfect and like I found him and I got so lucky because it's just, I don't know, the situation's crazy. Firstly, I just wanted to say I've had so much support when Gigi died and like I appreciate it so much. Like so many people reached out and I had to shout out my friend Kelsey because she got me this little bracelet that says Gigi's name on it. And then it has like a little heart paw print with like the paw. And yeah, it was like the sweetest thing ever. Like it meant so much when I got it in the mail. I just cried for like three hours, but good tears, good tears. I don't know if you guys can see it very well, but it's, it's so cute. And like I said, like it meant so much to me to be able to have it. So I wear it a lot. The only time I don't wear it is like if I'm working or like I know I'm gonna get it dirty then I don't want to like scratch it up but so when I decided like I wasn't sure if I was still gonna get this dog in February it was mostly due to like financial reasons and so my mom was like well why don't you see if you can find a cheaper dog and then you know you can just transfer that deposit that you put down on the dog for February to like a future litter because you can and so I was like okay and so I decided to do that well I looked for dogs forever like I was looking and I got really discouraged because every time I would reach out about a dog that I like thought was really cute online it wouldn't be available and so finally I found this little pup online and I reached out and I was like of course this dog's gonna be gone because like he's there's no way like he's way too cute and he has a merle coloring to him and merle pomeranians are expensive like they sell fast and they're really difficult to find because it's like a hard color to achieve in the pomeranians or in any dog breed honestly but anyways I saw him online and I was like obsessed with him because he was perfect and I had been wanting an all white dog but then the fact that he had like merle coloring in his face like the chocolate merle was so perfect and so I was like there's like no way this dog's gonna be available and so I messaged her and she was like actually the people just backed out this morning and I was like what the heck and she's like yeah I'll send you some more pictures when I get home I'm driving and I was like okay sounds good so she sent me pictures actually I have to backtrack really fast because this will this will set the tone for it so back last year I was going through like a lot of mental health stuff and I was really frustrated with school and like my job and so I was like trying to decide if I wanted to go back to school and I ended up like quitting my career I saw the movie the Joker in theaters twice actually and then I watched it like five more times after that and it's my favorite movie like of all time which I know I'm gonna get hate for because people argue with me all the time but it's like literally my favorite movie and it actually is the movie that like impacted me in deciding to go back to school so that movie is like extremely influential to me and like very important to me and she called me and talked to me and she was like yeah we call him the Joker because he always looks like he's smiling and I was like you're kidding me like there's there's no way like how how did this fall into my lap like it was just the most like perfect opportunity and it like put into perspective why everything in the past like hadn't worked and like why I reached out about all these other dogs that didn't become available and so I was like I like love him like I have to like meet him and so she was in Springfield which is about three and a half hours from me actually she was a little bit further out she was about four and a half hours out but she told me she would meet me in Springfield and so I was like well I really like want him and she was like I mean you'll have to put like a deposit down to hold him because like I've had um you know these people back out already and they just told me this morning they didn't want him and like I just want to make sure he's gonna go to a good home so I like without meeting him or anything was just like okay and so I put a deposit down on him then it was like a little bit over a week was when I got to pick him up so it was like the longest week of my life waiting to be able to go pick him up and Kinsey my friend Kinsey road tripped with me and we drove to Springfield to pick him up and meet him I saw a dog in her 
passenger seat and I was like, oh my gosh, that dog is so small. Like it's so little, he's so cute. And I thought it was my dog. Come to find out that was his dad. It wasn't even the freaking puppy. So she goes to the back and like opens up the trunk and this puppy is so small, like he's tiny. Yeah, he's two pounds. He's like almost all white. He has one little like tan spot on his back and it's like right where his tail sits. So it almost looks like it's his tail sometimes. It's really funny. His first vet appointment is December 7th. I actually got him a week ago today. So we've had him and he's been like such a blessing. He's so stinking cute. So the person who plays the Joker in the Joker movie is Joaquin Phoenix. So it only seemed fitting that I named him Phoenix. So that is his name and we call him Fee. He is a spitfire. He loves to play. He chews on literally any and everything and he's very, very smart already. So I'm interested to see like how he grows. It's really funny. German Shepherd does not like him so far. So we've had to keep them separated. She doesn't like other dogs, but she especially like does not like this puppy because I think it's like he's so little and so he like makes her really nervous, but he's the best. Like he's so fun. He likes to give kisses and he likes to be held, but only if he's tired because he's like, it wants to be just bing, 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 bing all the freaking time. He's already learned how to jump onto the bed and my couch somehow, even though he's literally like this big. He's doing like exceptionally well with potty training already. He's had very minimal accidents. And honestly, like the only time he has accidents is when we haven't been paying attention and he like needs to go outside. So he's just like, well, sorry. He makes it through the night almost every single night without having any accidents as well. So basically I have like this playpen set up for him and he goes in there when he's sleeping throughout the day and then like for naps because it's been a lot easier to potty train him that way and I would highly recommend doing that if you're gonna get a puppy, especially like a small one with a little bladder. But he has a little pee pad in there and he's only had to use it like a couple times throughout the night. He got to meet his cousins yesterday and he absolutely loves them. So we're gonna go and spend some time with them later today too. And yeah, he he's funny, like he's so funny. But I'm gonna get him and show you him just so you can meet him. And then I plan to like continue doing puppy videos just because I feel like he's so smart that he's gonna learn so much. Like he's starting to learn, we're trying to bell train him to go potty. So we're doing bell training on the door and like I can already tell he's like starting to pick up on it and it's been literally a week. He is, I think between nine and 10 weeks old. His birthday was September 15th. So he's, yeah, he's pretty little. He is two pounds right now, but he's estimated to be like five to seven fully grown. So he'll still be pretty little. But yeah, he loves other dogs. He loves being outside and playing. He loves to eat everything, leaves, trees, pine cones, everything. He's so bad, but he's the best thing ever that's ever happened to me. So I'm excited to show him to you guys. So I'm going to go get him. Oh. So this is him. Oh yes, we was sleeping, huh? I was I was letting him sleep because I knew he was gonna want to come out and be crazy. Big yeah. Can I kiss this? Thank you, thank you. So don't let him fool you. This is like the calmest he ever is, is when he wakes up from his nap and then he starts to go like balls to the walls, just nuts. But yeah, he's tiny. He's my little uh, sidekick. Thank you, thank you. He is a handsome boy. He has blue eyes. He's kind of, oh, he's so tired. It's kind of hard to see in the in the video, but he does have two blue eyes and they think it'll probably say that way, but we'll see. I hope it does. It'll be stay with blue. Oh, so tired, yes. So he is a good boy. He's kind of bad, but ow. So sleepy, but don't worry. I'm gonna put some videos of him being crazy and like all the stuff that he does because he's absolutely nuts. Dang, dang. Um, so yeah, this is him, this is Fee, and we are learning a lot about each other. I'm learning a lot about my patients and baby proofing my house because he literally is a baby. Like he chews on everything, he puts stuff in his mouth, he pulls out stuff, he wants to play with everything that's not toys, but then doesn't wanna play with his toys. He does love his little, he has a little Chewbacca toy that he is like obsessed with. So yeah, this is us. We are learning, we are learning together what it's like. I haven't had a puppy since I was in high school and my parents basically took care of it. So this is to us, ow, figuring out life together. He's literally already my best friend and it's been killing me to not post stuff about him because he's so stinking cute. Like, he's literally a teddy bear. 
a teddy bear. He has lots of clothes. He's very spoiled. He has a harness. Actually, he has two harness and leashes. So I'm going to be doing a video soon on puppy essentials and like the things that you really need before having a small dog. I also just ordered him like a gated playpen area. That way I can take it places when we go places and then like also for outside. Ow! Um, he hasn't had all of his shots yet, so we can't really go anywhere too much yet, but I plan to take him to like the dog park and like take him on walks and stuff soon after he gets all his shots. He has an appointment on December 7th, so then we will be going to do that. He will be a part of Vlogmas, and this is me announcing I'm doing Vlogmas. You don't know what Vlogmas is. You uh, literally vlog and drop a video every single day, so it's gonna be a lot of fun, but also overwhelming, but you know, subscribe to the channel and make sure that you stay tuned here because you're gonna see a lot of me and Phoenix during Vlogmas because, I mean, how could you not include him? He's just too cute. He's too cute not to. He's a good boy. So we are going to get off here, but now I'm so happy that I get to keep showing you Phoenix and I because he's the best thing ever. Yes, we love each other. Mm, my little ball of fluff. So yeah, you guys will be seeing a lot of us. Don't forget to subscribe, Phoenix says. He needs all the attention. And we will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to be here for Vlogmas. Woo! Say bye. Bye.